This is Quick Tips from the Metal Roofing Learning Channel, brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of panel colors and finishes, all while saving on your materials by buying Factory Direct. Click on the link above to get started. Use of the following video content is subject to the warning, disclaimer of warranties, and limitation of liability as set forth on this screen. Pipe Penetrations Pipes and other penetrations on your roof will also factor into your layout. You don't want the seam of a panel to land where a pipe is located. If there is a pipe at the panel seam of your layout, you may have to adjust the sizes of the first and last panels to compensate for the adjustment. If this is a newer build, or if you have access to the pipe runs, an alternative would be to cut the pipe and rerun it to where it would land in the middle of a panel. When removing a pipe, you'll need to make sure the cuts fall flush or below the roof line. You do not want any pipe pieces protruding and creating bumps on the metal roofing panels. Next, you need to cover the hole with a piece of flat stock. In this example, we have a 4 inch hole. It is recommended to cover the section with a 16 by 16 inch piece of flat stock. The flat stock is fastened using pancake screws 2 inches apart around the perimeter. Next, we seal the flat stock with a 4 foot by 4 foot piece of shark skin self-adhesive underlayment. Looking for more standing seam installation videos? Be sure to like and subscribe as we release new videos weekly. If you're installing a standing seam roof, then you will need to learn how to install gable flashing and a ridge cap. Check out these installation videos and more.